Greetings. If you're watching this, you're interested in the R uh, Programming and Statistics Boot Camp. My name is Ed Harris. I'm a lecturer in statistics at uh, Harper Adams University. I'm the leader of the MSc in Data Science in uh, Agri-Food and Environment um, course. And uh, this first lecture just launches the boot camp and explains what it's all about. Well, you can find the materials uh, at dsgarage.netlify.app. And uh, the Data Science Garage is a repository of uh, different R programming and data science materials, statistics um, education materials. It's all freely accessible, uh, and it's meant to be self-guided. Now, um, when we're thinking about tools for data science. What we really want to think about is the relationship between uh, raw data that you might collect and converting that into evidence. The data itself has potential value but just by itself doesn't have any particular value. It only has value when um, it's, it's analyzed and you generate evidence from it uh, and when it has context. And one model for thinking about um, different tools that are relevant to this data to evidence conversion um, are, are present in, uh, in statistics. So we, we may analyze statistics, uh, conduct inferential analysis to, uh, to make predictions. Um, often also there are elements of uh, computer science skills. Maybe we do a little scripting a little coding, a little database uh, work. Um, so there may be some computer science specific skills, but really to leverage evidence we have to have subject specific knowledge. Um, this is really the core of, um, of uh, education for scientists, but even in industry and in, uh, in business uh, this subject knowledge contains a huge amount of value. So modern data science is sort of a combination of these, and there are different entry routes uh, into, into this. You could come in from a statistics background, from a subject-specific background, or from a computer science background. So uh, where you're coming in to this uh, realm um, doesn't really matter. Now, um, call this the boot camp and when I created these materials I uh, was a little bit of um, tongue-in-cheek with a boot camp because a traditional boot camp is, is very intense it, it is meant to uh, skill up in a very short period of time without much regard for friendliness and uh, you know how how pleasant the experience might be and that's a traditional boot camp but really this boot camp is intended to uh, in the spirit of uh, you know working together with others to do something good and worthwhile and really um, some of the work has been done by me to curate materials that I think uh, have uh, offer the most efficient route to uh, to being able to start um, taking on board uh, skills in in statistical data analysis experimental design and so forth uh, so in that sense, if you embark on the um, boot camp, you will be working together with me by partaking of the uh, materials that I've curated. Now, um, the purpose of the boot camp, these materials are constructed specifically to be a self-guided resource. So uh, I mean for you to come, uh, dip in, evaluate the information that's here but very importantly to participate in it so uh, by that I mean um, you uh, you will be working um, through this material uh, the the main goal is to take on board our programming skills so introducing this powerful tool set maybe you have experienced R and the R programming environment before maybe it's new to you, um, but to use it as a tool to uh, to convert data into information, and uh, very importantly, 
even though some of these tools are going to be new and seem uh, foreign and complicated, uh, I have assumed no prior knowledge whatsoever. So this is starting uh, to be a, a resource for people with no background whatsoever, either in any scripting, any programming, maybe even not much um, practice using computers to their full potential. Um, so it assumes no prior knowledge on any of the knowledge fronts. Now, who is this boot camp specifically designed for? Well, I originally envis envisioned this to be for uh, students that would um, come in and would prepare themselves to study uh, a quantitative subject at the university level. Um, but, but really, uh, after I started thinking deeply about the, the different resources here, I, I have instead constructed this material to be accessible for anyone who wants to learn from data, anyone who wants to convert data into information. So this may be um, those students that are preparing to enter a, a um, higher education course. They may be academic colleagues who wish to learn R. They may be uh, data scientists who um, are may perhaps already working in industry and want to skill up in R very quickly and, and start working more with data and statistics. They may be other people who are pursuing professional development or, or people um, who are already studying in higher education who want to skill up in quantitative tools. So really, I mean this for the broadest possible audience. In fact, they, they could even be accessible and useful to, uh, to younger students, students in school or studying their A-levels who are um, interested and turned on to uh, data availability and the idea of data science. So a broad audience. Likewise, it could be instructors in data science. Freely, uh, freely uh, I give these materials for your use. You can edit them and uh, use them in any way you wish. Now, what are you going to learn in the course of this boot camp? Well, um, I'll go through a detailed breakdown in a second, but basically it's uh, an introduction to the R programming language um, all along topping up best practice for uh, reproducible analysis. So we'll be using the concept of reproducible uh, analysis by making reproducible scripts that, that define perfectly the analysis you've conducted. We'll also be talking about um, data curation and the concept of tidy data is one of the things we'll address early on. And uh, we have a module that is a review of simple statistics. It's just enough to get you started or to refresh you as a primer. Now it's organized into a series of, um, we could call them tutorials or individual web pages. And there are, at the moment, there are uh, three modules, and within each module there are several web pages. Okay, so module one, at the moment, um, we, we number the boot camp pages as one point, for module one, as one point X. And I believe there are five pages uh, at the time of this lecture. Um, and this module together, those five pages, are a bare bones introduction to R and a, a development environment called R Studio for beginners. Module two, it's a bare bones introduction to uh, the use of R to perform traditional uh, data analysis. By traditional data analysis, I mean simple statistics like correlation, regression, chi squared, and so forth. Um, module three, is an introduction to a couple of um, topics that are related to to data analysis and are very useful. And so this is uh, a little bit of tuition on reproducible code, um, a language that works parallel to R that can be used to format your output for non-scientists and maybe even for scientists called R Markdown. In fact, these slides were made with R Markdown and the web pages for the bootcamp are all made with R Markdown. And uh, finally, a little bit of, 
on GitHub. If you haven't heard of GitHub, it's a collaboration tool that uh, people use to exchange um, projects that involve often code, data, uh, and other other kinds of programming assets. And um, all of the boot camp and all of the slides are all available on a GitHub page. So you can dive in yourself and see what it's all about. And we'll teach you a little bit about it. Let's have a look at the modules in a little more detail. Module 1 is broken up into these five pages at the moment. There's uh, an introduction to R syntax basics. That's module page 1.1. R functions and packages, 1.2. R data object, 1.3. Uh, for plain old data sets, this is obvi obviously one of the um, things that people want to know from the first day when they start analyzing data. How do I get my data set into R? And uh, we do that with a special data object called Data Frames. It has its own page. And then um, data subsetting and manipulation. How to manipulate your data and do things that are useful with it is uh, the final page in this module. <coughs> Module 2 is all about um, inferential statistics, the basics, traditional statistics. Um, so a little bit about um, summarizing data uh, in the first module, question, explore, and analyze. In the second module, we'll talk a little bit about sampling distributions and probability. In um, module 2.3, simple correlation. Module 2.4, simple linear regression. 2.5, comparing means when there are uh, one or two means, the t-test, and module 2.6, uh, one-way ANOVA, when this is comparing means when there are, usually when there are more than two means. Um, and then module 3 is uh, short and sweet, just three pages. The first module, 3.1, is uh, three um Point one is best practices for reproducibility. 3.2 is uh, an overview of R Markdown, making simple HTML nice looking pages with that with your uh, analysis embedded in a reproducible way. And then uh, we talk about uh, Git and GitHub and version control of, of project materials in 3.3. Now throughout this, at, once we get into the, the boot camp pages a little bit, the most important thing about the uh, pages is there are a few kinds of activities. Um, these, these lectures are um, the least important part. The most important parts are, um, you know, getting in, reading, and evaluating the content of the pages. But most importantly is the practical aspects of this. If you're going to skill up, it would be very important for you to spend time coding. And all the code is provided right on there. And you'll get most out of it if you type the code yourself and run all the code for practice and attempt the exercises at the end. Maybe they'll even be fun. That is uh, the end of this introductory set of slides for the boot camp and I'll see you next time.